Early voting in Georgia kicked off Tuesday. Turnout is already so massive, one top election official says they're out of adjectives to describe it. We are blowing doors on turnout right now. By law, Georgia can't start counting votes until 7 a.m. on Election Day. We're going to see close margins, so it's going to take some time. That, and the voters need to understand this will take time for us to get it right. There's not much time to resolve litigation around a series of new election administration rules recently approved by three of the five members on the state election board who openly support Trump. Janice Johnson, Rick Jeffries, and Janelle King, three people are all pit bulls. On Tuesday, a Fulton County judge blocked one of their rules that would have required every polling place to hand count ballots to make sure it matches the number of ballots tallied by voting machines. The judge said the rule came too much too late, that there simply isn't enough time to staff and train poll workers necessary to hand count every ballot in the state. In 2020, there were almost 5 million. The judge also ruled local election officials cannot refuse to certify results. And in Virginia, election officials are being sued by the Department of Justice, accused of violating the National Voter Registration Act by attempting to purge people from voter rolls too close to the election. The law says state programs like that have to be completed before 90 days from a federal election. Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin defending his August executive order that set this in motion using DMV forms of people who identified as a non-citizen. Because that person has in fact self-identified as a non-citizen, this is not subject to the 90-day blackout period in my view and in, 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 counsel's, in counsel's advice. The DOJ asking a judge to order that registration of eligible voters impacted by this be restored and for local officials and poll workers to be trained to address confusion about the matter. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.